Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the long-awaited season two of The Archivists. Well, actually, I don't know if y'all were waiting, but I'm Rage at Rage.Central on Instagram, and I'm here with... I'm Saint at st.cntrl on Instagram. So for this episode, we just wanted to give a recap on season one and talk about a little bit about season two, because as you guys can see, it's a little different because we're showing our faces this time. Yeah, we just wanted to give a recap of season one and then give an insight into what season two is going to be about. Yep. So... Okay, wait. For season one, we talked a lot about uh, Archive and how we are planning on using Archive and how other people use Archive and just everything to do with Archive and the Archive community. Now, it was super niche based, but now we're trying to venture a little bit more into creatives and creative uh, topics as a whole because the archive community is full of creatives doing all different types of work so we wanted to talk (laughs) more about that and shine more light on that because people usually don't especially in the archive community so yeah I mean the whole point of starting the podcast was giving a light into how people mostly creatives use archive pages as like a stepping stool um, just to make online connections, kind of build a community and whatnot. And yep. then, yeah, we're just kind of, like you said, like we're venturing off into the creative field and seeing like what people are doing, you know? So. Exactly. Um, hmm. And I think in season two, one of the biggest um, themes we kind of covered throughout the episodes were like if mostly like mindset like what kind of mindset does creative have does it have to be like just a creative mindset or do you have to integrate like a business mindset within it to be successful and not only uh, and define like what success is you know success isn't just if you can monetize off of something or if like people think it's cool there's like different factors that go into like what success is um and I I brought up a point about success in Mina Hassan's episode and I said that success some aspects of it are objective and others are subjective and the ones that are objective are obvious but you know what success really means to an individual depends on the individual like to an outsider obviously success is shown through reach money um fame you know credibility online or you know in person that type of thing but really different ways to view success and success means a lot of different things to a lot of different people and it may not seem the same to someone who's watching the person versus the person themselves i think that's what you were getting at kind of yeah and success does make a difference depending on how you define success affects where you'll end up because it also influences what goals you make so if you if your idea of success is just making connections then you'll make that goal to make a lot of connections and that's it that's that will essentially be where you're headed but it all depends again on the individual so that's kind of what we explored in season two a lot and you also mentioned the business versus creative mindset and how they work together and we tried to bring that up in every episode and kind of see where all these different people or how all of these different people think about that Mm -hmm. when it comes to their creative process (laughs) there's definitely a lot of themes in every episode And like, unlike season one, season two definitely has longer episodes. We really tried to cut them down, but it just, we couldn't cut out a lot because it was just stuff that we thought was important. Um, Yeah, and we kind of just piggybacked off of each other. So we couldn't cut out too much in between because one thing led to another thing led to another thing. And trying to figure out where to cut that is just, it's really difficult. So we did our best, but you know, it's been, 
I don't know, looking back, season one is not how I would have, like, I wouldn't, I'm not very proud of it, I'm not gonna, I'm proud of the effort we put in, and, and, yeah, the, but I feel work. like, I feel like looking back at it, we definitely could have done better with what we for know sure. now, for you know? sure, but, I mean, I think that's kind of part of, we the- also have to keep in mind, like, season one was, like, our first project, and it was the first time working um, with someone, and it's hard working with someone else yeah. on a project, especially when, like, it's totally just virtual. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, we don't we don't see each other in real life very often. Like, I saw her maybe twice in the past six months or eight months. In the entire yes. time I've known you, we've hung out, like, yeah. A few times. Yeah, it's so, you know. I am very glad you guys gave season one a listen and I'm very glad you guys hopefully stuck around for season two. Um, even though it might be a little late later than we thought, but okay. I wanted to ask you just as your friend, where's your mind at when it comes to the fact that we are sharing our faces online now? Cause this doesn't happen in the archive community. So I just want to, yeah. I was thinking about, um, I think in season one we covered an anonymity, an anonymity. Mm-hmm. That <laughs> one. And <laughs> we talked about like how it could like help, um, kind of individualize yourself. But obviously, we know that within the archive community, anonymity is very important. <laughs> for whatever reason to kind of separate like what you're doing um and your persona you know you don't got to make this persona you just got to focus on like the content you make reading analytics yeah. making the connections networking and whatnot um but now that i think with a surplus of accounts in the archive community it's still a super niche community but there's definitely been a burst of new accounts coming in um and i think some people have kind of utilized face revealing so i guess one person i can i can think of who has face revealed is orbit oh yeah orbit and pluto did too i thought pluto face revealed yeah. yeah not on instagram on tiktok I don't know. I don't, I mean, like, I feel nervous for the first episode to pop out. I mean, obviously, I'm worried if people are going to be like, man, she's, <laughs> man, you know? <laughs> but. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> you don't know what? <laughs> know what that is no i'm putting the clip in here or some shit she doesn't know what that is the what whole is... it you go like you go like what is you that know? yeah 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 i'll show you she doesn't know she's uncultured but anyways anyways we got a sharp ass jawline so hell yeah <laughs> anyways uh what are we talking about but yes i now okay let me talk about <laughs> <laughs> okay there's so much awkward silence i forgot how awkward you guys have no idea how much awkward silence and laughing and giggling and and jokes we have to cut out because it's super awkward for anyone to listen to our so- last episode so episode 10 of season one took me seven hours to edit. seven hours girl seven i took hours bro girl, i took like two hours each how did you spend seven hours because it was it was separate like recordings with everyone. It wasn't all the same recording, and I had to like mash them up oh, together. Oh sure. yes, yes, you're talking about the end. Yes, now and yeah, 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 yeah. That, I know. Episode ten, bro. That was. Anyway, anyway, there is so much like behind the scenes work that happens like within a project. Not even just like the podcast in general. Um, yeah, it's for just- sure. People have no idea. People really don't, and I think. Oh, going forward, I want to, this is something I want to do. I want to show people more of the behind the scenes 
And I know you mentioned that you would be down for that as well. But I wanted to ask our listeners and our viewers, what do they think of that? Like, would you guys be interested in seeing maybe like short, not necessarily vlogs, just compilations of, you know, behind the scenes work, just showing you guys what we did for one thing, just like a little, I don't know, snippets, clips. I don't know. I want to do that. And whatnot. That would be really cool. I wouldn't mind. It just the amount of work that goes behind it i know but the payoff is good the payoff is real good i think so everything is content everything no i didn't mean it like that (laughs) no i know i'm joking i just whatever um i lost track of of what of what we did what we said we talked about we gave a recap of season one gave a maybe a little teensy insight into season two um talked about we're supposed to talk about what we learned oh so from this project of making a podcast totally virtual um and working on a team i think we both learned some very valuable things um I think the most important thing is you just got to do it and put effort in and not like, obviously you should care about the end result, but there's so much to learn in the process than just the end result. And I think I'm very grateful that I started this project with someone who's very good at communicating. Um, Because you run into a lot of problems. Yeah, but that's okay. That's something that we've also mentioned from season one about season one but i think from in speaking to the people that we have like just getting a little more specific um i've learned to just we need to just stop thinking and just do it like i i know me and rama have a oh fuck i know me oh my god no okay i (laughs) I know me and Saint have a lot of ideas and a lot of things that we would like to execute. And we just need to just jump right into it and not think too much. I think that's what I've learned. Because that's, you learn as you go. That's the biggest thing, the main thing we've learned from talking to everybody. You learn as you go. You don't need to think. Yeah. And I think, I think the other thing is when you're working on a project, you have to like, you have to have some kind of structure, you know, you have to give thought into like the behind the scenes, you have to wear multiple hats. That's another thing we talked about in season two as well, like what kind of responsibilities um, you kind of have to take on and and where you fit in um, when you're working on something. Yeah. So with that, we hope you guys enjoyed the first episode just to give you guys a little, you know, debrief on what you're going to be hearing. Um, But let us know what you guys think of this upcoming season. And we hope you guys Mm -hmm. enjoy. Uh, I'm Rage at Rage.cntro and I'm Saint at st.cntro on yep. Instagram. And we will see you here. Talk, I don't know. <laughs> we'll talk to y'all later. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.